this is an example of what your notes should look like when taking notes for this video. This is for 1-5 measuring segments. The video title is How Do You Use the Segment Addition Postulate? And this is where you're going to write your notes. Once you're done with this video, this is where your next video title will go and then you'll also complete your notes. Don't forget that you need to include a summary at the end of your notes summarizing what you learned throughout the videos. How do you use the segment addition postulate? Throughout the video, I will show you and demonstrate how to use the segment addition postulate. The distance between any two points is the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates. If the coordinates of points A and B are little a and little b, then the distance between A and B is the absolute value of the, dif of the difference between the two. So you can do A minus B or you can do B minus A. The distance between A and B is also called the length of A segment AB or AB. So let's go ahead and try to make sense of what I just explained to you. Let's say you have a point here labeled A and a point here labeled B. Small a and small b would represent the numbers. So you can actually write that down, put a little number signal next to it so you know that a and b are numbers. If you have those numbers, you can subtract those two numbers together and take the absolute value and you would be given the distance. You can even go b minus a instead of a minus b and still get the same answer. The reason why we use absolute value is because this distance can never be negative. Think about it. Has anyone ever told you, oh yeah, Pasadena is about 20 miles, negative 20 miles west? No, they'll tell you, no, it's 20 miles west. So distance is always positive, which is why we have absolute value to find a distance when we subtract the numbers. Let's practice this concept. For this example, we are going to practice measuring segment lengths. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the first two problems, the first two bullet points, and then you are going to finish the last two bullet points. And then I want you to go in order from lowest distance to highest distance. I'll write that up top for you so it reminds you. So lowest to highest. Okay, let's go ahead and look at what is the distance of ST. Here's S at negative 4 and T at 8. Remember, all we need to do is subtract the two numbers and take the absolute value of it. And since I'm, I read from left to right, I'm going to go ahead and do negative 4 minus 8. And I get absolute value of negative 12. But since we have the absolute value bars, that means it turns everything positive. So the distance of ST is 12 units. Let's look at SV. I'll do it in a different color. We have S here, that's negative 4, and V, that's positive 14. Absolute value, I subtract the two numbers. So negative 4 minus 14 equals the absolute value of negative 18, and we always make it positive because of the absolute value bars. Now, notice that SV has a longer distance than ST. On your own, you're going to go ahead and do UV and TV, and then I want you to go ahead and label the segments from lowest to highest. Now let's look at the actual segment addition postulate. It tells us that if you have a segment A and C, and B is between those two points A and C, then you can split up the segments and add them together to get the total of the entire segment. So that's represented by this equation, AB, that means this segment here, plus BC, which is this segment here, is going to be equal to AC, the total distance. We will practice this concept with some licorice in class. Let's practice an example together. M is between, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to move the slide. Go back, there we go. M is between N and O. So we have N and O, and M is right here in between it. It's not the midpoint, and we'll talk about that in the next video, but it is in between. They want us to find the distance of N, O. So that means the total distance here. The first thing we need to do is set up an equation. Let me go ahead and enlarge the screen so we have more space to write. There we go. So we want to find out the total distance. We know that N plus M, or excuse me, N, M, which is 17, plus M, O, which is 3X minus 5, would give us 
if we add those two together, will give us the total distance, which is 5x plus 2. So let's go ahead and solve for x. We can combine like terms on the left-hand side, and this is a review of algebra skills. And I get 15, excuse me, not 15, silly. Let's erase that. I get 12 plus 3x equals 5x plus 2. In order for us to get solve for a single variable, we need the variables on both sides. So I'm going to minus 3x to both sides. And now I have 12 equals 2x plus 2. I'll subtract 2 to both sides. And I have 10 equals 2x. And x is going to equal 5. Now I isolated the variable and I found out what x equals, but that does not solve my example. I need to find the length of n o. So I'm going to take this 5 and plug it in for x here, and now I'll get the entire length of n o. So n o is going to equal 5 multiplied by 5 plus 2. So that's 25 plus 2, and that's 27. So n o is 27 in length. Okay, I have one more example for you, just in case you had some difficulty. This one gave us different information. It told us that EG is 59, and they want to know what EF is and FG is. So I'm going to go ahead and I know by the segment addition postulate that EF plus FG would give us a total distance of EG. So EF, I'm going to go ahead and write it as a statement for you. EF plus F. G is equal to E G. And now we're just going to substitute our values in for these different segment lengths. We know that E F is 8x minus 14. And we're going to add that to F G, which we know is 4x plus 1. And this will equal 59, which is E G, and that's what's given to us. Now let's go ahead and begin solving. This example is different than the last one because we have to combine like terms and solve for the variable instead of having variables on both sides. So it's a little bit easier. 8x and 4x go together, so we get 12x. Then I need to combine negative 14 with 1, and I get negative 13. And this is going to equal 59. Add 13 to both sides. And now I get 12x is equal to 72. Divide both sides by 12, and x is going to equal 3. Oh, excuse me, not 3, 6. There we go. Oops. 6. Wonderful. Now, to solve our problem, let's look back at the let's look at back at the directions or what it asked for. It asked for EF and it asked for FG. So I have a variable, but I don't. I need to find out the le the lengths of each segment. So EF will equal eight multiplied by six minus fourteen. So we have eight times six, which is forty-eight, and we're going to subtract fourteen. So EF is going to equal thirty-four. And now let's find FG, and I'm going to go ahead and box that because that's what we were looking for. FG, we got to plug in the x value again. And we're going to add 1. So 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So FG is equal to 25. And now we have solved. So I want to put little stars next to this so you know that this is what we were looking for. But this helped us to get to that point. Bring all your questions to class. And don't forget about the next video that talks about what happens when you're given the midpoint.